Welcome back guys, Johnny Keck over at AMP Futures. Thank you for tuning in. And today's uh, video, we're going to show you how to log into Sierra Charts, uh, one of the uh, many trading platforms that we offer here at AMP Futures. Uh, Sierra Charts Package 3 is, is free at no cost. Uh, package 5 is another version that we also offer as well. So whichever package you're using and also whether you're trading di uh, demo or live, uh, we're going to show you in this video how to log in and get connected and how to get started using Sierra Charts with AMP Futures. All right, so let's get started. Uh, we're going to all, at this point, we're going to assume that similar with the, uh, the previous videos that we've done in terms of getting started on the different platforms, we're going to assume that you've already gone through the process of downloading and installing Sierra Charts onto your computer. Therefore, you already have the icon right on your desktop. So as you're looking at the screen right now, you can see the Sierra Charts icon in the top left corner. Uh, let me just move uh, this icon over to the, to the right here. So doesn't create any confusion. And if you have not already gone through the process of downloading the platform, uh, let me go ahead and show you real quick the, uh, the download centered URL off our website. So you can go there and, and download the actual platform itself. So it will be platformdownloads.com forward slash download dash center dot HTML. And you're going to go ahead and scroll down the list and you will see that Sierra Charts is going to be towards the middle of the screen there. You can see the download page right there. Okay, so therefore you can download the, the platform right off the download center. It's a pretty straightforward installation process. You're pretty much just going to hit next, 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 finish. Choose the, uh, the hard, drive, hard drive directory of where you want the files to be installed. And once you go through that procedure, you will have a Sierra Charts icon right in your desktop, just as I, as I have at this moment. Now, one thing I want to point out, uh, there is a difference for demo users. who don't, So basically, if you don't have a live funded account with AMP Futures, and you just want to try a trial, a 15-day trial of Sierra Charts. So therefore, you just want to get in there, kick the tires around, and just get a feel for the software. So I, I do want to let you know that it's a two-step process to log into Sierra Charts. There's the login, the username and password that you need to log into Sierra Charts, and then there's a username and password that you need to actually access data. Okay, so there's two sets, two different sets of login credentials that you're going to need. Now, if you're trading a 15-day trial and you don't have a live funded account with AMP Futures, you have to make sure you create a username and password specifically for Sierra Charts off their website. Uh, if you're not you know, familiar with what I'm referring to, let me show you. You're going to go to www.sierrachart.com. And once you get to the home page of Sierra Charts, you will see an account management menu tab that you see. And you're just going to want to simply click Create Account. And when you click that Create Account option, it will take you to this portion here. And all you have to do is just enter your email address and just proceed and just follow the step-by-step -step instructions of creating a username and password. And that will get you going for a 15-day trial uh, if you were looking to try just a trial period of the software. Okay. Now, if you're trading a live account with AMP Futures and you want to take advantage of the free package 3 offering that we give out for customers here at AMP, then you will have to contact our AMP support team and just inform any one of us, and then we can go in and put the request in to have that package created for you. So that's not something that you create yourself. That's something that we create here at AMP Futures for you, and that's specifically for live accounts only. Okay, so if you're not using a 15-day trial, you have a live funded account, you're ready to go live, please contact AMP Futures so we can create that initial Sierra Charts login for you. Okay, so that is a requirement for you to log into the platform. All right, so now that we've gotten that out of the way, uh, let's go ahead and proceed and show you how to log into the platform. So at this stage, you already have your initial Sierra Charts login, whether you created it yourself off the Sierra Charts website for a 15-day trial, or you've already contacted a, re a representative at AMP Futures to create you a package login for your live account. So you already have that, and you also have a username and password, whether you're logging into a demo account for 15 days, or if you're actually ready to trade live using your live AMP funded account. Okay, so let's go ahead and double click the Sierra Charts icon right onto the desktop. And the first thing you're going to see is the login screen. Okay, so this is where, what I was referring to, this is the Sierra Charts username and password. This is not the data feed login that we provide for you. This is specifically for the Sierra Charts login. So if you're using a 15-day trial, you've already created that username and password from this page here. And therefore, you're going to log in with those credentials that you create. Now, if you're logging in with the live account, then we've already assigned and given you a username and password specifically for this first login. Okay, so for myself, I have my own login, so I'm going to simply log in. But either or, if you're logging in on a 15-day trial or if you're logging in with a live funded account, you're going to go ahead and log in with your Sierra Charts login, not the data feed login. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hit log in. 
and this is what uh, pretty much what you see when you first log into Sierra Charts. Okay, so by default, when you're logging in for the very first time, you do not have the data trade server settings configured yet to connect to the specific data feed that you want to use. So this is where I'm going to take you into the next step and showing you how to do that. Okay, so we've already gone through the process of logging in with the initial Sierra Charts login. You can see that I've successfully logged into that aspect. So we're 50% done in terms of getting fully connected. Now, the next step is when you log in, you're going to want to go to File. You want to scroll down to the bottom and you want to click on Data Trade Service Settings. So it's the, I would say, third to last option from the bottom, right above Connect to Data Feed. And I'm going to go ahead and select Data Trade Service Settings. Okay, so now if you hit the service drop-down menu, which is a little drop-down menu here, you will see all the available data feeds that are available to use within Sierra Charts for you to connect to. At AMP Futures, we have three data feeds that work with Sierra Charts. We have CQG data feed, we have Rhythmic, and we also have AMP TT Net, also known as Trading Technologies. Okay, so those are the three data feeds that we specifically offer for Sierra Charts if you're a futures trader with AMP Futures. Okay, so this is where you're going to have to go through the list here that you see and select the specific data feed that you set your account up for. Okay, so whether it's CQG. So I'm going to go through the list right now. Let's start first if you're using a 15-day trial off the AMP website and you do not have a live funded account just yet, but you've gone onto our website, you've requested for a demo for 15 days, you've received a username and password specific for CQG to try out a paper trading demo account on Sierra Charts for 15 days. If that's the case, if that's the, the situation that you're in, you want to go ahead and select CQG Web API as your service provider. So it's this one here, CQG Web API. And then you're going to want to make sure under the server setting here, you want to make sure that you simply change that to demo. Okay, so it should look exactly like this. CQG Web API Trading, that's specific for the 15-day trials that are off the AMP website. You do not have a live-funded account. You're just interested in trying out a 15-day trial. Input the username and password that was assigned for you. So whichever username and password was emailed to you, you want to go ahead and copy and paste that username and password into this, this section here. And again, I always repeat, Copy and paste for myself is always the best method. It helps eliminate human error, and you want to make sure there are no spaces. So it's got to be a perfect copy and paste before and after the username and password. So for example, if you notice right now there's a small space after the T there, that's going to be an invalid username and password if I were to try to log in if I create the connection that way. So it's got to be a perfect copy and paste just like that. All right. Once you input the username and password that has been emailed to you, just simply click OK. And then you're just going to go ahead and go to File, and then you want to connect to Data Feed. And uh, I don't have a 15-day trial username and password, so I'm going to go ahead and switch my credentials up for just a bit because I want to show you what it looks like so you know that you're successfully connected. Okay? So let's go back to File, Data Trade Service Settings. Now let's go back to the Provider Service drop-down menu. Now let's go over if you're not using a demo account and you're using a live account specifically and you are ready to execute live trades. So if you're using trading technologies as your data provider, the data feed that you're looking for is AMP TT Net Trading. Okay, so this information is always going to be pre-populated for you. However, your sender comp ID is also known as your username and then your password is your password, of course. So that information is going to be emailed to you from our trade desk here at AMP Futures. So you should have already had that email to you in terms of your username and password for the trading technologies data feed to use in conjunction with Sierra Charts and you need to make sure that you input that information into these fields here. The main thing is understanding which service provider to connect if you're using trading technologies which is going to be AMP TT Net Trading and then the IP addresses are going to be pre-populated for you so the main thing you're just going to have to enter is the sender comp ID also known as username, your password, sender comp ID, username again and then password once again, and then you're going to want to put your username once again under this accounts field right here. Okay, so let's just say, for example, if your account number is a hypothetical example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then typically the username that we assign will be AC one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the username you're going to have to enter three times if you're using trading technologies. You have to enter it here, here, and also here, and then the password just twice. 
All right, same concept, perfect copy and paste, make sure there's no spaces. And that's how you connect using the trading technologies data feed with Sierra charts for live trading. Uh, I don't have a set of credentials, so I cannot demonstrate, so I do apologize for that. But it's pretty straightforward. The main thing is understanding which service provider you select and how you input your credentials. Again, it's AMP TT Net Trading under the service drop-down menu. And you're going to enter your sender comp ID, which is your username, your password. And then for the accounts field, you're going to enter in your username once again. Once you do that, you're going to click OK, and then you're going to go to File, Connect to Data Feed. All right, typically when you connect to Data Feed, this not connected in red here will turn into a green confirmation, and you'll see a little abbreviation that's D as in David and F as in Frank. And you'll see I, I do have a set of credentials for CQG, so I'll show you what that looks like, and let's move on to that uh, next here. So we're going to go back again, File, Data Trade Service Settings, and that right there was just a recap of how to connect to trading technologies using your live account with AMP Futures. Now, if you're using Rhythmic Technology, which is a different data provider that we offer, now you're going to scroll down the list here under the service drop-down menu, and you're going to look for Rhythmic Trading instead. You can see it right here. Select that option. And then the main thing is for the server, if you're logging into a paper account server, then of course you want to make sure it's a paper trading server, as you can see here. But if you're logging into your live account, then just make sure that's Rhythmic 01-US there. All right, so that's specific for live trading, and that's already, again, assuming that you've already received the username and password for your Rhythmic data feed with AMP Futures. Once you have that selected, as you can see here, Rhythmic Trading as a service dropdown, you have your server. Uh, if you're connecting to a live account, you want to make sure it's Rhythmic 01-US. If you're connected to, a, if you're trying to connect the 30-day trial demo of a Rhythmic data feed, then you want to make sure you select Paper Trading Server here. But if you're trading live, just leave it at Rhythmic 01-US. And just simply input your username and password. Same concept, you're going to click OK once done. File, and then connect to data feed. And that's how you connect to the, to the rhythmic data feed within Sierra Charts. And last but not least, guys, uh, the CQG data feed. If you're trying to connect your CQG data feed to a live account with AMP Futures, you have a funded account, you're ready to go live with CQG, we're going to go to File. We're going to go to Data Trader Service Settings. And then from the drop-down menu on Service drop-down here, you want to go ahead and select this time, instead of the CQG Web API, because the CQG Web API is specific for the 15-day trial demos, not live trading, you're gonna, this time going to select CQG Fixed Trading. All right, so if I go and left-click CQG Fixed Trading, now I'm going to go ahead and make sure that this demo server is set to live, uh, if I'm trading live, of course. And I'm going to input my username and password that's been assigned from AMP Futures for my username and password for my live account for CQG Data Feed. Once I have that set, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now I'm just going to simply go to File, Connect the Data Feed, and then you're looking for that connection to look just like that. And that's letting you know now that you are now successfully connected to the data provider that you have chosen to use with AMP Futures uh, with Sierra Charts. Now the next step is to, to confirm that you're actually getting live data to make sure everything is working correctly. Let me show you a quick introduction on how to pull up a dome and a chart, and you'll be well on your way in using Sierra Charts. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, go to File. Once we are confirmed connected, we're going to click on Find Symbol here. And you're going to see this little dialog box. So this is right off the bat going to tell you which data feed you're connected to, which is nice because that's going to give you the proper symbol mapping for the symbols that you're trying to identify and add as a chart or a dome. So what you're looking for right here, just to let you know that you're connected to the correct data feed, always look at that instance field and just verify that you're connected to the proper service provider. So you can see CQG Fixed Trading in this example is the correct data feed that I'm using. Now you're just going to go down the list, identify the contract that you want to add. So in this case, mini S&P, for example. I'm going to click that little plus sign. I'm going to look for the front contract month, which is currently June. And now I can, I can choose these options here at the bottom. So you have open historical chart. That just basically means that you can only open a chart that's going to give you a minimum time frame of daily bars. You can't go anything smaller than daily bars. Uh, if you want to open up an intraday chart, of course, you can go with time frames that are smaller than a daily time frame. So uh, let me go ahead and just open up a chart here, an intraday chart. And the first thing you're looking for is that data to load. And you'll get a confirmation, as you can see there, downloading historical data. And I would probably say about 5 to 10 seconds, you're going to see that chart data populate. All right, so that's what you're looking for. If, and, the, and there you can see now the, date, the data has populated. Historical data has backfilled. Now we know that the chart works. Now let's make sure that dome works. We're going to go here. Uh, I can just click Find Symbol on the top left corner. It's an easier way to get to that same menu option. And now I'm going to go ahead and open up the Trading Dome. Same thing, you're going to look for the symbol, click Open Trading Dome, 
and then I'll just go ahead and close this window out. And now what I usually do when I first log into a platform for the very first time, for me to get an understanding that I'm getting live data, I always tend to look at the accumulative bid and offer data. So you can see those numbers are changing constantly. And when you see those numbers updating, as you can see there every second, that's giving me a, a great indication letting me know that I've successfully connected to the data feed and live data is starting to come in. All right, so that's pretty much a quick introduction on how to log into CR charts with all three data feeds that we offer at AMP Futures, whether you're logging into a demo account or a live account. One quick thing that I want to point out as well, real quick before I sign off, is uh, if you're wondering how to toggle back and forth between demo and live within the CR charts, the very top trade menu bar here that you see, this little trade menu option, if you click that little trade menu bar, you'll see trade simulation mode on. If you see currently it's checked, that means local simulation mode is activated when Sierra charts. So therefore, you can only paper trade. In order for you to trade live, you have to uncheck trade simulation mode on. And another way to know that uh, whether you're trading on live or demo, if you look on the left side here, you can see that SIM1 will show as the account number when you're trading a SIM account. So therefore, you know that uh, you know, you're actually are executing demo trade. So if you see SIM1, you know you're in demo mode. If you see a set of numbers, that normally is going to reflect your live account number. Okay, so that's pretty much how to log into Sierra Charts. This is a quick introduction, quick video on how to access Rhythmic, CQG, and trading technologies. Again, if you don't have the initial login for Sierra Charts, please contact our 24-hour uh, our customer support team. We'll put a request in to get those credentials created for you specifically for the first login of Sierra Charts. As I mentioned, it's a two-step process, uh, process to log into Sierra Charts. You need the initial login, which either you create yourself for a 15-day trial or we will create for you for live trading. Other than that, guys, uh, for more videos, uh, feel free to visit our YouTube channel. Uh, the URL for the website is www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Again, that's www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Thank you very much for your time, and happy trading.